What if I told you you could write a script for your dream life with the most amazing experiences, with fulfillment, with love, with joy, with exhilaration, with passion, write it all down as a script and then watch it come to life. Today we are talking about scripting, or as I like to call in my best-selling book, Manifest That Miracle, written visioning. We're speaking about scripting and why most people get it so wrong and how you can get it right so you could go from script to reality in no time. So I've been wanting to do a video on scripting because it is the number one source of organic traffic to my website. I have a blog post about scripting that I did like five or six years ago and it's still consistently getting a lot of visitors, mostly because I think scripting is so misunderstood. So what is scripting? It is a way of writing down your desires and making them more concrete. I talk about in my book, Manifest That Miracle, that when you imagine something, of course, it's powerful and incredible, but when you write it down, it makes it more permanent, more concrete, more visible, more tangible, more measurable in many ways. So I'm a big fan of written visioning as one of the modes of visioning. I talk about four in my book. So scripting is a subset of written visioning, and it is really about entering a reality, like writing a script, like writing a play, where what you want has already happened. With that said, I think the name scripting is a little bit of a misnomer because what most people end up doing and why they don't end up seeing the incredible results um, that I would love for them to see um, is because they start writing it out like, I went here, I did this, this person said this, and they start writing it quite literally like a movie script where there's multiple players basically taking action. But a great script is actually all about emotion. It is about those magic moments. You know how good movies are comprised of those like poignant, rich, like really meaningful moments where you just feel the purpose of that storyline really come together. So the same with scripting. You really want to write a vision that really lights you up and gives you tingles from head to toe. So I have a couple of notes here and I'm going to share them with you. Um, of course, I have much, much more in that chapter of my book on written visioning and you can go to my website and download it for free link below, or you can buy it on Amazon if you like. Um, but a couple of things. So I, I give examples of uh, written visioning exercises, scripting exercise. You could do, you could script your ideal day. You could script your script your dream relationship or your dream career, or your dream job. You could do something like my future in three years or in five years. But when people do these exercises, there are a few things that they really miss or forget. And I want to drive them home today. So when you do this, you actually see the results instantly and you should see the results pretty quickly. Tip number one is focus on the feeling. I call this not visioning, but feasioning. Create a feeling vision. So if I were to, for example, as I did, um, imagine my dream relationship. I did this before I was uh, dating my husband, during, after, still do it now. Um, I want to drop into a place where I'm feeling like that excitement, that heat, that love, that connection. I really want to focus on the feeling much less about what he's doing and what he's saying. That brings me to tip number two, which is to drop yourself into a moment in time. So if, for example, I'm envisioning my dream client, right? And I want my clients, um, my dream clients to flock to me. I will imagine being in a coaching session, feeling that feeling of just source moving through me and I'm channeling like everything I have lived up until this moment in my life is all for this purpose, to sit here with this person and to be able to connect them to their vision and watch them step into it, to be able to offer a safe place for healing and revealing and soaring. So I might drop in right into that moment when they are having that aha. I might drop into that moment where they are having tears of gratitude and joy and celebration. If I'm visioning my dream partnership, I'm gonna drop into that moment where maybe 
um, we're laying in bed and I'm like, oh, just like relaxed after, you know, multiple orgasms. And I'm just looking into my partner's eyes and I just feel this incredible tenderness and connection and I feel so safe and held. And I might go back to that moment or multiple moments over and over. So I feel like scripting is actually scripting really well certain scenes. Um, in Trans Surfing, Vadim Zaland, who is a Russian physicist who wrote a series of books on trans surfing, it's a philosophy that's similar to law of attraction, really. Um, he calls the slides, that you drop into that slide and you fully embody and be present and feel what's happening. It is so powerful. It is how I manifested our uh, dream home with this amazing view of the Caribbean behind me. Um, so focus on the feeling, fusion, right? That's most important. Not the beautiful scenery you create, not the words you write. You have to feel it in your body. If you don't feel it, Go to another vision, go to another moment in time, pick something that really lights you up and opens your heart. Number two is focus on a moment or a few moments in time. Create a scene right in that moment. Don't just go through the whole day. In the morning I did this, this person said that. It starts to lose its momentum and feeling. Uh, number three, it really doesn't matter what you choose. Pick something that, again, back to the feeling. If you want um, to experience great abundance, and you think, well, I don't want to work in my job and I don't want to start a business and I don't want this and I don't want this and I don't want this. And you're like, I don't know what to pick. Nothing feels good. Pick a moment in time when you maybe experience something really luxurious and abundant, right? So sometimes um, I will go back to a moment in time when I was flying first class. When I was working in investment banking, I got flown business class and first class very often when I was super young and um, I've been trying to live up to that ever since. And I will place myself in that like leather seat, reclining seat, right? And they bring champagne and I'm holding my champagne and I just feel like the queen of the world, right? Like that's a sense of abundance of everything being done for me that was my normal so I can go back in that moment, right? So doesn't matter what you pick and you're like, but how is this gonna help me get clients or get a better job? When you focus on what you want to feel, what's going to end up happening is throughout the rest of the day, the week, the month, the year, you're rippling off that feeling. So what I mean by you should see instant evidence and shifts and manifestations. You won't all of a sudden that afternoon be on a first class seat somewhere, though I don't know, crazier things have happened. But what will most likely happen is you will enter this feeling, and I talk about core desired feelings in my book, you will enter this feeling of feeling so supported, like everything flows to you and you feel deserving and worthy. And all of a sudden later that day, someone will say something, do something, you'll go somewhere. In some way, you will get a taste of this feeling. Hold on to that feeling, celebrate it, be like, yes, somebody at the coffee shop just um, gave me an extra pastry with my coffee and you just feel so seen and supported and it feels playful and easy. And if you can really connect the fact that you did that scripting and you did that visioning and you felt that feeling and now you manifested this and you really celebrate that scone or whatever you got, the way that you would celebrate your dream client or your dream partner, boom, you are there. You are on your way to creating momentum around this feeling and law of attraction will start bringing those elements to you. So don't attach, that's my last kind of tip, but don't attach to the timeline when these things need to happen. Don't get all tight and contracted around the when and the how. If you are doing good visioning, it should feel like good sex. You are not thinking about anything else. You are in the moment and you're like, this is so good. This is so satisfying. Yes, yes, yes. You're not rushing to go to the next lovemaking session. You're not rushing to get to the next thing and the next thing, right? Let yourself sink in and really enjoy. And then know that life is responding to you and look for the evidence. So I wanted to do this quick video to give you an overview of scripting. Let me know, have you scripted before? How has it worked out for you? Um, if you'd love to learn more details about scripting and other modes of visioning, download my book. Also, would you love to see a training where I bring this to life, where we do some scripting together? Let me know if you're interested. I really hope that you will use this 
to not just create your dream life, but create a series of absolutely miraculous moments in your mind that then life delivers and over delivers to you over and over and over. I send you all my love.